Howdy. For this video, I'm just going to show you how to create uh, commoners so they have a different image every time you put them out onto the board, and then also how to set them up so that they have a unique individual name uh, so that way it doesn't get too repetitive and that you know adds a little bit of extra flavor to it. So for this uh, main module that you're going to need is to get the names. It's going to be in better rollable tables. Um, I don't believe there's anything else that's necessary for that, um, and or anything else besides that's the big thing that you need. So once uh once you got everything that turned on, uh, you're going to import a character to the game. So uh, you could do you know just a commoner, um, which I'm still get out of macros. Um, so you can get you an actor there and once you get you a, you know like a commoner it'll import that and then once you're in the commoner you'll go into get down to old buddy here so commoner so you're gonna go into your prototype token and then while you're in this you're going to go to the image category right here. Uh, so your image is going to be defined by what's ever, what's ever in this in this blank here. So your token, whenever it comes out of the board, is going to be defined by this. So what you need to do is you need to create tokens that you're going to use to take their place. So uh, typically what I'll do is I'll go to a website called rolladvantage.com uh, slash for slash token stamp. And so I will take whatever image I'm going to use, so uh, I'll pick, I usually just pick this border, it's usually the border I mainly use, and uh, once I, you know, have the image and I set it the way I want, you click download, it'll pop up down there, and then what you can do is you'll create a folder to where you're going to locate and find all these afterwards, so I already have um, in mine, I already have a male and a female category set up, so for male, I would, you know, find an find an image. So, you know, we'll we'll use this as the basis to kind of get, you know, the the text at the bottom. So, you're going to copy the very very bottom bar to get uh, the thing that we're going to need. So, once you once you copy that, close that out, and then you're going to paste what we just copied in here, and then you're going to delete the the actually the name of the token. So, you're going to erase all of this, and then you'll stop to whatever the name of the folder is. So, mine's this double double o nine that uh, commoner M and then you'll check this box right here and that will randomize the images and then at the very end of that commoner you're gonna put an asterisk right there and then once you do that that will that'll give you a random image every time so now when I drag this commoner out onto the screen it will have a different image every single time and you know as many images and as much work you put in you know the more more unique it'll look so uh, to get different names, what you'll do is same thing. You're still in the prototype token, and then this is what creates your name. So what I usually do is I will create a folder with uh, a bunch of names. So I go to Better Rollable Tables. So at the very bottom, uh, and under Story Tables, you'll see human name, female names. Uh, you'll see some orc names, things like that. So what I'll do is I'll just create a journal entry and I'll drag and drop these in here. Now when they're when they're on here, when you click on these, it'll roll them. So uh, what you're looking for specifically is you're looking for this at compendium bet rollable tables. And you're going to copy all this, and then once you once you get all that, you're going to paste that where this is right here, and you're going to click update. And then now when you create your commoner, he's got a He's got a new fancy name, so and that's uh, pretty much it. You can do the same thing for this. So, like, if you wanted to switch up, you know, certain type of enemies that you might run into all the time, like bandits, goblins, things like that, you could find different different images for that and kind of help break it up. Because I'm not I'm not a big fan of top down tokens. I usually like like art like this for tokens. So, but you can you can get really creative and, and create some cool fun things. So, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, uh, and very simple. But uh, it definitely adds a little bit extra flavor to your game to make it uh, a little bit more unique. I guess a small little bonus uh, 
for my session tonight, we're going to be doing it's basically like a, a huge attack. Um, and so uh, I actually created small little loot items on the map for players to be able to interact with. So on the ground here, you'll see small little piles of javelins, and I'm going to actually have those as targetable loot um, that they can actually pick up and grab that they, they want to throw them. So what I did was I created a category, um, and I'm trying to remember which one I had it under. Uh, I had it under this, I think. Yeah, here we go, loot. And then so I created a basically a, just an item. So uh, I created a new character, but I made it an NPC. And once I made it an NPC, I changed the sheet to the loot folder sheet, which is the module... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, loot sheet NPCs 5e uh, and once you do that check that that can allow you to turn these things into loot I and uh, give all my players permission to be able to access them and then what I just did is I just dropped six javelins you know like pretty much they find a pile of javelins on the ground and that's for them to be able to pick up and so if they say hey I see these javelins on the ground then I can reveal the object and put it on the put it on the board and then once I created it uh, what I did is I went through the icons so to get to these, you go through, uh, so if you're on the main world, so if you're in the user data, and you go to systems, D&D &D 5e, go to icons, and then I had it under items, and then weapons, and then I picked, uh, it was just a spear, uh, was I think the one that I picked was, yeah, just this one right here, and then select that, and then that was what I used for the image. And then you, once you drag that onto the board, it'll uh, create, create the effect. And I did the same thing for a ballista here, uh, but I actually did this one a little bit different. So I made the sheet, but instead of making it like a loot sheet, um, what I did is I made it pretty much just like a player token. And I, I went up and I looked up the stats for a medium ballista. And so this was all the stats. And then in the features, I created the action to be able to do it. And then so it was, uh, it was like 3d12, I think, and then plus 9 piercing damage. And then... I'm gonna, uh, it's going to cost three actions, an action to load, an action to aim, and then an action to fire. Um, so you, you could, if you really wanted to get real technical, and you could say three actions, but I just did it once just to not make it too confusing. Uh, but, and then that way, you know, this can be, you know, if something can be targeted, and then all it has to do is just uh, roll the ballista, and then, oh, I, apparently I have to make sure I set up the ammunition for it, so... We'll uh, remove that so that way it doesn't uh, give me any errors. And then, and then when it fires, you know it would do its normal roll, and then it uh, it missed. But I mean, it's it's a cool little fun thing that you can do to kind of add a little bit extra extra flavor to the to the game to make it a little bit more enjoyable. And then I actually the way I have it designed, so I gave it vision to it, of its range. And so I made it so that it can only see what's in its in its range. So if it's not, and it can only be turned in this little radius here, and if it can't see what's in this, then it can't it can't fire. So it can only fire through these little arrow slits. But that's about it. Fun little bonus to that. So, but if you have any questions about anything, just uh, shoot me a message, and uh, y'all have a good day.